Dr. Jeff Pierce, our WSN Injury Insider from the Michigan Sports and Spine Center, michigansportsandspine.com, uh, joining us uh, via... Oh, hey there, uh, hey, Doc. Doc. We What's... see half of you. I, there you go. There you are. I see you now. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Doc? What What's happening? Doing? Who do you have there with us? I'm Colleen Oakley, my uh, my boss out here in Nashville. How Hello, you doing? Colleen. Can you hear us? Hello. I, I can hear you. Hear you. you hear it's uh, cutting in and out of my ear, but I can hear you just fine. What are you doing out there in Nashville there, Doc? Well, you know, we've been working hard on bringing our philosophy to Nashville, and Colleen's been a key player for us to spread our uh, our knowledge in the, in the Knoxville, Knoxville, Nashville, and uh, Jackson, Tennessee. Colleen runs the whole rehab. She's like, what is your title? President of... <laughs> She's got some big title. I'll give her even a bigger title. But, uh, no, I've talked to you guys about prevention, and we have a whole company for nursing homes, and you don't go to nursing homes to die anymore. And right. You're looking for the rehab or working to increase, increase and improve their balance and, and lifestyle and functional outcomes. So Colleen's a key person, and we're in a meeting, and I told her she's coming in on – with me on the show today to show off uh, some of our knowledge base that we're sharing out here. Hey, Doc, does she know about the secret sauce? She knows about the <laughs> not the locker room secret sauce. We'll, we'll we'll call that the secret sauce for our our patients here in the subacute world. But yeah, we have a secret sauce here also. That's awesome. Hey, we're gonna get Frank Ragnall back on Sunday against the Cowboys. He's got that partially torn pec. Uh, he's had two weeks to rest. Tell us about that injury. And he feels good. He has been cleared to play. If you're Dan Campbell, are you playing him? If I'm Dan Campbell, I am going to see how he does pregame. I think it's a game, you know, moment of the game call and see how he does, see how he reacts. I think a close eye on him because. He's got, you know, he's got to pop up quick. He's got to be able to snap the ball, get up and defend. And those guys know he's hurt. And believe me, that that defensive line has no sympathy for him tomorrow or Sunday. And I, I, it's a close eye. I think it's a little premature if his if the injury was as bad as it was. But again, we did predict that he was coming back early. Yeah. I think he's a week early right now. I think we need him for the whole season. Yep. You know, they've made good decisions not to put him back prematurely. But Ragnow, you know, his mental toughness will outweigh his the physical issues that are at hand. So that's my concern right now. I was with you, Doc. I said I'd, I'd like to see him sit out another week, maybe even two. I want him for the rest of the season. So now I'm going to put you on defense. You're playing against uh -oh. Frank Ragnow. How are you going to try to re-injure that torn pec? I'm going at him full blast. I'm, I'm that guy that's been doing chest press all week long just to go up against him, you know, push off chest to chest. You know, it's, it's driving. You've got to stop a guy who's 300 plus pounds coming at you with a, a collision speed of 50 to 60 miles an hour. Ragnar's got to be able to defend that on that side. And you're going to play a little bit to favor the, the weak side, the injured side. I mean, there's, you know, it's the NFL. You've got to take every edge you get. And Ragnow is not a weak link, but the other philosophy is that him at 80% is better than others at 100 because of his, his brain, you know, his football smarts. So it's a tough call. I think if there's any question or he tweaks it, he's out on, you know, right away in my book. I don't, I don't know why they're pushing him back. It's been two weeks unless he's, He's got to tell me he's zero pain and 90% better. And strength-wise, you can you can determine how strong he is from right to left side. So I'm sure they've done all the all the precautions needed, but that guy, it's hard to keep him off the field. How do you injure a peck playing football? What, what did he do to have that thing separate? Because last year, we remember uh, our the guy in the secondary, CJGJ. CJGJ. He tore his pec and he wound up playing the entire game against Seattle, but then he sat out to the last game of the year. Yeah, I mean, adrenaline will play through that also, and the pec will actually get worse. Like I said, once you tear it, you can get a blood a blood pool, and you got to get that out. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away, 
So if there's a tear, there's some type of inflammation, there's some type of blood that's, that's seeping in there. You know, right now we got the secret sauce, we got techniques in the locker room to get that reduced down to be functional. So how you tear it, you tear it with resistance. A lot of times some guys are supplementing, which makes those ligaments a little brittle. I think with him, it's just pure him, you know, fighting against that resistance on an arm that was a little bit weaker. So a pec muscle is very, very hard to injure. So it's it's a big traumatic blow to, yeah. to be able to tear that. Colleen, do you agree with all this stuff our buddy's saying? I do, I do. He's got some some good points there. <laughs> all right, just just making just making sure. I wanted to double check uh, Doc's work here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, believe me, she she's an analytical <laughs> individual. She, everything's analytical, so she'll look at you know the, the the rates and the pressure points and things like that. So you can ask her the analytical parts. Hey, uh, now, Doc, her, what? To, go ahead. To be honest, Colleen is working. We're working on a project. Obviously, she's in Tennessee. I'm in Michigan. But it's a national need of what's going on. You know, Ryan, you, you complimented me last week about being preventative. You know, it's not just prevention in, in the in the locker room for the young kids. It's prevention of the people on the back nine that are preventing themselves to be in a nursing home and things like that. And we've come up with that, that program that I've called Balance Now, which is maybe the first time I've publicly said it. But... I feel it's the facility that her and I are working on because her specialty is geriatric care and the prevention program that we can put in to prevent a hip fracture. Like, I just had someone's loved one fully functional, lost their balance, broke their hip, and is just not the same person. Uh. So when that happens to someone that's on the back nine, you don't have that reserve to recover. So Colleen and I, actually, we're going to be working on that at dinner tonight, kind of how we can simplify it and bring it to the public where we are creating a prevention and awareness program. So that's really what her expertise lies. So she'll correct me on that. So any comments on our program? <laughs> no, I think, um, you know, it's so important for us to be proactive in terms of maintaining our physicality and our mental capacity, because once you start that backslide, then when something does happen, it's so much more difficult to recover. So um, kind of, we have a lot of people now that are coming into the aging population, our baby boomers, people are very physical and um, helping them maintain that as long as possible. And then also uh, recovering from that when an injury does happen, um, I think is really important. A lot of times we wait too late to do stuff and then the recovery is much more difficult. Kind of like you, Ryan, we, we gotta get you, we've got you on that weight loss. Now you gotta start building up your core muscles. Well, there's no doubt about it. And I think education, when you when you, when you talk about this stuff too, and and, uh, and I know we joke a lot about it, but, but it, it is the truth. And that's why one of the things that I admire about you, Doc, and what you're trying to do, not only here, but all around the yeah. country, is talk to people and get people trained in, in going this route. Uh, focus on the preventative, because if you can do that, you can really change people's lives. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's actually a national t statistic that Medicare is looking at that the fracture rate is increasing because of balance. And once that, and the percentage of people that were healthy that, that passed away or have comorbid or multiple medical issues, when they have that fracture, they don't have that reserve to depend on to get through that hospitalization. And we're here to try to reduce it, but the numbers are staggering and the amount of money that's being spent and the, the life, the lifestyle just changes overnight. You know, I have too many patients that scare me because I'm on the back nine that they were healthy running marathons five years ago and now they're greatly debilitated. And, you know, there's a prevention program. I mean, Ozempic is great. It takes the weight off. It takes one of the problems away, but I still got to improve your balance, your cognition, you know, there's programs that we talk about for balance now that's going to work just on balance, but it's also the cognition, it's your reaction times. It's a simplified place that we <laughs> want to develop for the public that Woodward Sports is going to definitely be behind. But I think that's, you know, I'm at that age, I'm like, how am I going to make a difference in a bigger picture? And I think by, by awareness like this and 
people like you that can bring more attention to it, you know, that is great. And Colleen is, she's, she's very modest, but she's very intelligent, has a very big position. She runs a big company here in Tennessee, but her passion, both of our passions is for prevention and to be ahead of the curve. And a lot of people are more react. Unfortunately, a lot of Americans are reactive and not proactive. Yeah, no, it's just kind of how, there's no doubt. It's just kind of how we've been brought up to and uh, kind of conditioned to, uh, kind of conditioned to learn. Hey, Doc, we're up against it here. We're getting ready to head down to Comerica Park for Tigers baseball. Let's go, Hopefully Tigers. they close it out. Amazing. Uh, Doc, Colleen, so great to meet you. We'd love to see you again. Uh, keep this guy in line over there in Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> Doctor, do my best. Thank you so much. Dr. Pierce, we appreciate you, buddy. Check out michigansportsandspine.com, our WSN Injury Insider. Thanks, Doc. See you, Doc. See you, Doc, Colleen. Go Tigers. Go Tigers, Bye. baby. All right. See you, guys. Attention sports fans, don't miss out on Expert Sports Injury Insight with Dr. Jeff Pierce of Michigan Sports and Spine. Join Dr. Pierce every Tuesday during Big D Energy and Thursdays during Armani and Edwards where he offers top-notch injury advice. Trust the guy that I trust. Dr. Jeff Pierce is here to keep you in the game and performing at your best. For more information, visit michigansportsandspine.com or call 248-426-9944.